Hey people, G-Man here, and today I'm reviewing Amphibia Episode 7. And there are two parts to this, like usual, or two episodes, whatever you prefer. Um, <laughs> and I gotta say, really, really good. The first part was okay, the second part was really, really good. <laughs> So, uh, the first part was Spider Sprig, and the second part was Olivia and Yunnan, I think. <laughs> I think that's the names. <laughs> uh, so, spoiler free, it was pretty damn awesome. Like, holy moly, holy moly. <laughs> that second part was holy moly. <laughs> um... Probably the best episode of this season so far. Uh, like, 100% best episodes of this season so far. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. That's, that's, that's how I would say. Spoiler. Spoiler free. Okay, now into spoilers. Just remember to subscribe, hit that bell, like, comment, share this video, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok down below. Okay, so spoiler alert. Okay. So... Let's talk about Spider Sprig first. So Spider Fr Sprig is obviously a parody off of Spider-Man. Um, where Sprig turns himself into a superhero. Uh, where he just kind of wants attention and stuff because he watched an old dumb movie. <laughs> uh, and he goes around saving people. And he actually legitimately saves like a school bus full of kids. Which is interesting. And then the rest of the time he just kind of does... Uh, like, he saves things, but, like, nothing too, like, oh my goodness, he's saving, like, this, all like, like he's saving something super, super much, you know? <laughs> the biggest thing is he saved a, he saved a bus full of school, school kids, I guess. Um, and he meets, like, a, <laughs> a, like, <laughs> a, like, a watchman, I guess, or, what would you call it? A, a a town watchman, like not even like a like an officer of the law, just like some guy who watches the town. And this guy gets jealous of him and turns into like a Doc Ock ripoff. So Sprig is like a Spider Man ripoff, and this guy's like a Doc Ock ripoff. Uh, and he gets the robot's arm from, uh, the assassin robot's arm from the junkyard. And somehow when he puts it on, he can use it, like, really well. That'd be super cool if I found an alien arm. <laughs> but if I put it on, I could use it like that. That'd be... That'd be cool. Uh, just thinking out loud. If I found an alien arm, I could do that. If I found, like, alien arms and alien legs, I could do that. That'd be pretty cool. <laughs> um, but anyways. Uh, so he finds this alien arm... That does this thing, <laughs> and it's pretty cool. It's pretty. It's 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 pretty cool uh, to say to say the least. Um, and they have like this epic kind of chase scene, kind of fight at the end, and then at the end they're called out by their <laughs> by like a uh, by like this girl that was there, kind of like <laughs> kind of like this girl that Sprig and Sprig has like this relation like. I don't know, Sprig and this girl are kind of like friends, I guess. Um, and this guy's her grandfather. And at the end, Sprig goes away after they clean up the place, and the grandfather gets arrested for property damage, obviously. Um, and it just kind of ends there. Um, except for Anne, of course. Anne's really, Anne's really mad at Sprig for like doing this. And then she's just like, oh, man, that's okay. And then, then he's like, oh, yeah, I ruined your clothes to do this. And he, she's just like, oh, my God. <laughs> it's it's a funny episode. It's pretty funny. It's a parody. It's it's, it's a good episode. Uh, it's a good little thing. Um, and then the second part, it's like, oh, my goodness, that second part. <laughs> so the second part is where, um, <sighs> excuse me, <sighs> Where we have Olivia and Yunnan. And we see what Amphibia is starting to look like. And it's starting to look like a wasteland. Because of all of the construction and stuff that they're doing to it. Uh, you can see some parallels to like the real world in that. 
Um, but yeah, it's starting to look like this wasteland. And they're doing all this construction and stuff to, uh, I guess, prepare for the future or what, what have you. So, he calls Olivia and Yuned, uh, Yuned, uh, to come and be his, and like, get new jobs, basically. Um, like, Olivia, original, she was supposed to keep, like, the beauty and stuff of Amphibia, but now she's, now she's, uh, she's supposed to run this factory type thing, and Yunan, uh, originally she's supposed to be the protector of the people, uh, but now she has to go and gather the people for an army, and if they don't listen to her, she has to, you know, kill them. Uh, so, they're both like, uh, we're not doing this, let's get out of here, and let's go get the only person that can outsmart Andreas, which is Marcy. So they go get her, it turns out she's completely fine, except she's a little bit boozy, she's a little bit messed up because of, like, the whole, uh, I guess she's kind of been comatose for, like, what, like a month or two, maybe? So, she's a little bit woozy and stuff. And then after that, uh, they kind of get stuck in this VR world, like this virtual reality world, until they defeat the virtual reality world. But then King Andreas shows up and stops them. <laughs> and basically, they're like, what are you going to do? And they grab Marcy. Uh, this machine grabs Marcy, and it turns out this machine is actually all of the ancestors of King Andreas and, like, all of the knowledge uh, put into a machine to have, like, immortal life. And then they download it all into Marcy. So Marcy is now a host body to all this knowledge and all these beings. And now she's going to be the leader of... <laughs> The enemy, I guess. Which will be very interesting, um, to say the least. So she's going to be the leader of the enemy now. And as it was happening, like, Ol Olaf, I forgot her name now, and Yunad uh, were kind of horrified. And even Andreas, uh, for a slight second, looked like he was a little bit sad. Looked like he, like, he like turned around like, like ooh, I don't want to watch this. <laughs> That looked like he was a little bit sad. Um, does that mean he could be redeemed in the future? Eh, I would say probably not, but there's a chance that he might do something nice in the future. But probably not. But who knows? There is a chance because you did see that little. You did see him a little bit sad there. Um, and of course, Marcy is now completely taken over and completely evil. Now, I can see this going a number of ways. I can see Anne and Sasha saving her, getting this thing out of her, and saving her from being taken over by this thing. And I can also see her fighting back against it, because obviously her consciousness is still inside of her own body. So I can see her fighting back against it, like as she's fighting Anne and Sasha, and perhaps even her own parents uh, if she goes to Earth. I can see her being this like, oh, this like I gotta fight against this. Like, what am I doing? Now I feel like at the end they're gonna end up saving her, but it'd be really dark if they like ended up uh, destroying her at the end. That'd be really dark, uh, but it'd be really cool to see at, at the end. <laughs> but I doubt it because it's a kid show. But I'm just saying, <laughs> if they go that route, that'd be like, oh my goodness. <laughs> They already killed her once. They could do it for real next time. <laughs> they probably won't, but if they did, I'd be like, oh my gosh. <laughs> but anyways, uh, that was the two episodes, or two parts of the one episode. Very good episode. <sighs> Best episode so far, to be honest. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, and share. Hit that bell notification. That's the best way to count my channel. Link down below to my Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. And as always, our friends, stay sane. Peace.
Just remind you to subscribe, hit that bell, like, comment, and share this video, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok down below. Shadow, my baby, I love you so much. You're my baby. And you love to sleep in the bathtub. Because <laughs> you're a weirdo. Shadow, look. Look at everybody. Look over here.